welcome back to Imperfectly Neek and another edition of Boss Lady Chronicles. Today we will be creating this Bayou Beauty beautiful looking tumbler here and this was created with the crackle method. So I'm going to be showing you a step by step tutorial on how I created this tumbler. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and let's get into this tumbler. Okay, so we are going to start with this tumbler here. This was spray painted candy pink and it was prepped and spray painted using uh, my favorite and my only <laughs> prepping and spray painting method. If you have not seen that video already, look at the link, link above or in the description box where I will include the link to that video. But that is how I prep this tumbler here. So this tumbler, like I said, has been prepped and spray painted and this was spray painted with Rust-Oleum Candy Pink spray paint. So here is Rust-Oleum Candy Pink and this is gloss two times Rust-Oleum. This is my favorite spray painting brand. It is the one that I think gives me the most coverage. Um, so this is what I use for this tumbler. So the things you are gonna need is obviously your tumbler and I've got some medicine cups. Whoop. I got some medicine cups here. I've also got I'm just dropping everything. Elmer's um, glue here. This is your normal Elmer's school glue. You can get this from either Walmart or you can get it from Amazon, whichever you prefer. I also have this acrylic paint here. This is called Kelly Green and I got this from Michaels and it's just a small acrylic paint. And the other color I'm gonna use is a glitter acrylic paint and this is called Evergreen. So originally I just wanted to use only this acrylic paint on this and using that method. However, I started playing around with it and realized that this is actually more of a clear when you apply it. So I'm gonna do a base, crack, base crackle with Kelly Green and then another coat with this here. So I've done the crackle method before, but I have not done it with a glitter paint. So this will be new. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, obviously you need our gloves. And the last thing you are going to need that I almost forgot to mention was your heat gun. As I was preparing to get started, I had like a major epiphany. I'm gonna actually mix these two together. That way it'll just be one paint stroke and I don't have to wait for this one to dry to then apply this. And then it'll seem like it'll be more seamless. We're gonna try it and see how it works. So I've switched out to two big containers since I'm gonna be doing that method. So one of them I'm gonna fill here with Elmer's glue and the other one here I'm going to fill with my acrylic paints. So first I'll do my green. And next I'm going to do my glitter green or evergreen. I'm only just gonna put one chunk and see how that comes out. And I'm gonna take pineapple stick and mix that together. Okay. That didn't do what I thought I was gonna do. So I'm gonna try it again and see what happens. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna save the rest of this to do a final coat on top. Cause that is very pretty, let's see. Okay, nope. Didn't do what I think it was gonna do. So that's okay, we learn together. So I'm just not gonna add any more of these and I'm just gonna do it how I originally was gonna do it, which was adding this in later on because I don't wanna waste it because I don't have a big bottle of it. So we're just gonna proceed forward the other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my tumbler just like this and I'm going to take some Elmer's glue. I'm just gonna go up and down the tumbler just like this. This tumbler has not yet been coated in epoxy. And you wanna make sure you completely coat the tumbler from the top to the bottom. And when I say bottom, I also mean bottom. And you can tell like with, with Elmer's glue, you can tell when there's, it starts to get kind of bumpy when there hasn't been an area that has been covered. And I'll make sure there's no parts that are dripping. I want it to be completely coated. 
like a clean coat. So now I'm just gonna go one stroke, one stroke, one stroke, just so I can get any excess glue off of the tumbler. All right, now I'm gonna give this a second to pretty much dry clear. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my paint and I'm gonna do long solid strokes. I'm gonna try to get all the coverage with just one stroke and not have to go back again. So let's go. We are now going to take the heat gun and we are going to put heat on the tumbler until the paint starts to crackle. Um, depending on how wet the paint is and how hot your heat gun is, it will vary how long this will be, but you will start to see when the tumbler will start to crackle. And you want to go on an up and down motion because if you focus on one area for too long, then you will start to burn the paint. So just continue to sweep up and down the tumbler. So this is the final product. I like it, but I don't love it. I wanted there to be bigger crackles, but there are smaller crackles and there are a few flaws I did. So this part, there was a chunk in it. So I tried to unchunk it and that created that. And then over here, I tried to add another layer of paint and glue to then crackle it more, but that didn't work either. So it is a little bit of flaws to it, but imperfection is beauty. And this is what we do here at Imperfectly Link. We try everything out so you know what to do when you do yours or what not to do when you do yours. So overall though, I think it's nice. I am gonna put probably the decal here because then it kind of hides the imperfections on the opposite side. So another thing I wanna mention about the crackle method, if you are the type of person that needs everything to be completely perfect, do not, and I repeat, do not do the crackle method. And it's not to discourage you or turn you away, it's only to just bring to your attention that the crackle method is a method that you really cannot dictate. It's one of those things where it just kinda happens and you go with what it ends up being. Um, at first, that was frustrating for me because I wanted it to be exactly how I envisioned or I wanted it to be like this or like that. But I had to kind of get over that because, again, with the crackle method, it just becomes what it becomes and you roll with it. Um, so, again, as I mentioned in this one, I wanted it to be I was shooting for bigger crackles and still being able to see the pink underneath. But in this sense, it's only peekaboos of it. It still looks nice. So for the most part, this tumbler here is dry. So I'm just gonna take the tumbler, dip it in this glitter, and I wash off my brush. And now I'm just gonna go up and down. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Look at that. I'm in love. All right, let me set this here. Um, I found this set glitter in the section of Michael's where there's actually a I'm wasting a bunch of different colors of this acrylic glitter. So if you like this, like I like this and think of any other projects you can use this on, I'm telling you there is a whole section in Michael's full of different variations of these this glitter um, acrylic paint here. So I am now racking my brain thinking of other ways that I can use this. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell how pretty this is, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna even it out so it seems more consistent on the tumbler. All right, now I think I'm perfectly satisfied with this. I could see this on like a peacock tumbler, something of that nature. And this is what it looks like, guys. This. 
Can y'all see how pretty this is? Like, this is gorgeous. And I'm basically going to let this dry. So now this tumbler has dried and I am ready to add on the decal. So I got this decal from Etsy. It is basically look up Disney pin up princess. And this is the one that I found for um, what would be princess and the frog. So I went ahead and printed this on um, printable vinyl and I used the highest quality picture settings to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna place this decal right where I want it in the middle and I'm just trying to determine which one I think looks best. Now that I have picked my desired location, I'm gonna head and smooth this down side to side, up and down, just to make sure that it's securely placed on this tumbler. And this tumbler has not been epoxied yet at all. This just contains all of the the paint underneath this and then I'll be epoxying after this last step. So this is how the placement looks and I think this looks great and I'm ready to epoxy. So I have about 15 milliliters of epoxy that I used on this particular tumbler. You're gonna see more than that in my actual cup because I was epoxying other tumblers. So I had a big batch. But on this specific one, I used about 15 milliliters. And I'm just epoxying like I usually do, up and down, round and round. And of course, as you know, my preferred epoxy is Art Resin. So this is the final product guys and I am absolutely in love with this tumbler. So I allowed this to turn overnight and then I cleaned it with my favorite cleanup method which I will include the video above and down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys soon in the next video.